Hey, Orange One here, and in this tutorial, we're going to go over how to be a gangster. Um, essentially, what you can do in this game is you can walk around town and attack some people and take some territory from them, but it's a little bit more complicated than that if you actually want to be successful at it. So you can just jump into town right here and go over to places like the clearing over there and try and fight the dudes, but you're not going to be super successful if you don't have the right gear. So you might notice right now that we're in our civilian gear right here. So if I look at our inventory, I just hit I for inventory. You've got your regular fighting gear and then you've got also your civilian outfit. And by default, you don't have very good civilian outfits. So if I go to this dude that I just recruited here, look at that like head protection and body protection like his armor that's not what a gangster wears not at all no no sir um basically you need to get some better gear and some better weapons and you also want to have some perks that are relevant so if you hit c and go to character this character right here my character has pretty terrible roguery which um actually helps you get some better loot but it also, uh, if you're like doing like criminal activities, basically, you'll get some roguery experience. So this actually is really, really good because it has a, a perk in here, which is, where is it? Yeah, you can use any one-handed weapon in a civilian mode. So that in of itself makes it incredibly useful. Um, and I think that was the main one that I yeah that I've been really looking at and how it applies to being a gangster um so this character unfortunately is not going to be able to carry any one-handed weapon but that doesn't really seem to be too much of an issue because um the one-handed weapon that we've got right here is actually pretty dang good so we actually have a tier 5 weapon that qualifies for this and as far as I can tell if we're looking at melee weapons it's basically like nice swords you're allowed to do this with anything else you can't walk into a town with for some reason it's very strange but yeah if you look here at the civilian menu items that you can't use they turn blue if i try and bring that it's not going to work but i can buy that right so i'm going to just take a second to get this guy just a little bit better set up than what he's in right now this weapon is actually tier three uh we already have a tier three so we're not going to give you that um, no ranged weapons can be used in these places, but we can at least, at the very least, uh, give you a proper helmet and proper shirt. Uh, your boots are okay. You don't even have any gloves or any hood or anything, so I'll give that to you. And see, all of a sudden, he's uh, he's going to be a lot more valuable in a fight, you know? Um and we do actually have another thing to keep in mind is if you're going into a city here is that you can't just bring any troops with you when you take a walk in town uh you get a companion and they can come with you and there's the my other companions are actually already in there like melissa's over there and uh Dwayne's somewhere over here i think he's over there in that mess over there somewhere also holding alt is how i'm seeing all these things that are popping up um, I could walk all the way over to them. There is another little uh, pr life pro tip. If you go to the tavern or the arena and then you just exit out, that can get you in the center of town. So you don't have to walk all the way in from the outside. It just it saves you a little bit of time if you're, uh, if you're a little bit closer. So yeah, basically you walk over to your companions and then um, once you've got them in your party, you go over to one of these things like a waterfront and uh, try and clear it out. Now there is something to keep in mind is that, um, oh, gather all of my companions in the city and find me. Oh, that's cool. Nice. So they'll go get the others and they'll come meet us. Uh, while they're doing that, I want to go check out this waterfront because there might be like two dudes. There might be like six. I think we could handle uh, like, well, we might be able to handle that group. I don't know. I might just go uh, scout out the clearing in the back street. Yeah, that's probably a good call. Sorry, just give me a minute and uh, I'll be right back. 
Okay, so we found a better place for us to attack. There's this group of three thugs right here um, in this back street. Uh, we've got really good numbers on them, and if you look at them, their gear is actually pretty terrible as it is. Um, so we can probably just take these guys out super easy. Yeah, my companions, man. They just destroyed. Yeah, you want to have companions with you if you're trying to do this, uh, trying to be like a gangster um, or fight the gangs, then you're going to really want uh, to have some good companions. And you probably noticed there that uh, the dude that we attacked there, um, he's not too happy about that. And you can actually see what these guys actually control. And so you can see um, he's mad at us. This person actually likes us for what we did there. And um, we're going to try and hold our ground here. Uh, we have a party right here that's fairly decent. Um, usually gangsters, their units are pretty terrible. And it takes them a few days for them to get their strength up to come fight you. Um, I think it's like a, a little bit over a day, maybe. Um, and in any case, they will attack you. And it's usually not too bad of combat, but again, it's in civilian clothes. So you want units that have weapons that they can use in civilian clothes. So if you uh, if you come into this combat with uh, the wrong units, they're going to be trying to just like punch the enemy, which is not good. But you can see we've got 21 compared to 10, so I think that we'll be all right. Even if we were just punching them with our companions, we'll be okay. But look at these dudes, these watchmen. They've got no weapons. All they have is stones, so they're gonna be pretty much worthless. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Almost. Right, we might not have this. Oh, we got it though. Okay, cool. All right, so there you go. That's how you uh, win a gang fight. Make sure you've got good companions is the, the takeaway here because as you can see at least two of our companions survived that and the third one was already hurt actually so here's here's what's really nice is that after you've done all of this the payout that you get is you get a good amount of gold you get some weapons and items the really good thing here is the thamaskeen steel this can sell for crazy amounts of money i've seen it for a little bit higher than that but basically, if you sell us at the right place, you've just earned over a grand in a day with, like, not that good of units. Um, another little life pro tip, if you want to hire thugs, these guys, they're pretty good at um, what we're talking about, the like the gang fighting. Um, you can kind of see... I don't know, can you actually see their actual weapons and, and stuff? No, it doesn't look like you can. But these guys tend to have like maces and other stuff that you can usually carry around in cities yourself so they'll actually be useful units and if you're wondering how you get thugs if you go to the tavern uh this is the same place that you would get a companion um you just walk up to one of these dudes and see there's like some expert thugs right there sometimes they're not thugs in here sometimes they're mercenaries uh so it kind of depends on what you're looking for Personally, I like mercenaries in my game, but if you're trying to do something like this, you're going to want to go thugs. Um, and there are some other quests that these dudes do offer. Now this person right here, they're going to be friendly with me. So I probably don't want to be making them too mad. Uh, so I probably don't want to be attacking the waterfront. But if I wanted to attack the clearing here, that would probably be a good move to just keep on pushing to make this guy even more mad. I'm really excited to see what they end up doing um, to make this even more immersive. But yeah, that dude, he had the back street and he's also got this clearing here. Now I wouldn't myself go in and try and fight right now because we're pretty badly beat up. But the back street was just down there. In case you're wondering, there's like, if you go up to that wall and to the right there, there's a little way. Um, yeah, some of these little places can be a little bit hard to find. So just a little heads up, you might get a little lost. Um, it doesn't have like a little clairvoyance line on the ground for you, so uh, be patient. Most of the time, I've found they're right by businesses. 
So if you go towards the business and then turn for on there, you usually can find them. Yeah, like look at these guys. There's a whole group of them right there. Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to take them, especially in our state. So uh, yeah, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.